We all know if you've got something that moves and shouldn't, you need duct tape. And if you've got something that doesn't move and should, well, you need WD-40. And sometimes you even need a hammer. Now, a lot of times you'll just grab the thing that's closest, like a wrench, say. But if you are smart enough to grab a hammer, make sure you grab the right one. There are a lot of different hammers that do different jobs. So you gotta make sure you have the right hammer for the right job. So today, we're gonna go over them. We're gonna start over here on the softer side. We've got a rubber mallet and a brass hammer. Now, a rubber mallet's good for something that you don't wanna mar up or scratch, like a painted surface or something that maybe it's chrome or polished aluminum. And then if you wanna put maybe say a gear onto a crankshaft or a timing set, that's where you'd use the brass hammer because it focuses your swing a little more intense here on the hammer head instead of distributing it over a large area like the rubber mallet. The next type of hammer we're gonna talk about is the dead blow. This is a very common hammer in the shop because it's not actually made of metal. It's made of a hard plastic, but it does flex. The handle flexes and the hammer head itself flexes. And instead of it being solid metal, it actually has metal shot inside. And when you swing it, that metal shot moves toward the front of the hammer and that helps move whatever object it is you're trying to move. And we've got all different sizes here on up to about 58 ounces. And we even have this unique dead blow here that has a longer reach. And this is for driving pistons down into a cylinder block. The next type of hammer we're gonna talk about is the ball peen hammer. I know most of you have seen these. They're very common in the shop, especially for metal working. And they call them a ball peen because they have this ball on one end. And of course the other side has a regular hammer head. But these do have a steel head and they come in a bunch of different sizes, depending on what job you're trying to do. But there's one type of ball peen that's kind of unique and that is this, which is kind of a hybrid between a dead blow and a ball peen. They actually call it a dead blow ball peen. It does have a more flexible handle and it's got the shot built into the head as well as the steel ends. But if you really need to get something moving, of course you're gonna grab the old sledgehammer. We've got a four pound shop hammer here, which is actually a sledge. And then we have this guy here, which is called a club hammer. What's unique about these, other than them being heavy, is that the handles are reinforced. So if you overstrike, which is common when you're swinging real hard, keeps the handle from breaking and injuring the user. If you just wanna get something moving that none of those hammers will do, of course you've got your 16 pound sledge right here. This thing will move just about anything, but it takes quite a bit of muscle to get it moving. 